to open up uh, action script 3.0 and the canvas is going to be 550 by let's see 400 so be sure to make it uh, 1280 by about 720 that's a good uh, YouTube size okay hit enter and again to change the stage color you can click right here and you can make it any color you want so let's make it black okay go up to view go ahead and bring your rulers out okay got your rulers here put one to the side here okay do the same thing over here on this side that way you know where your stage is and if you ever have anything come off the stage you're able to know exactly where the edge of the stage is okay that's all these are and you can use these guides for any number of things you can put some guides in the middle if you want to get like the middle of it if you want to do that you like find the middle and put it there uh, but I don't need it so I get rid of it okay so there we go. Now I get my magnifying glass and I go ahead and blow it up because I like to see a little bit of the gray, but I like to see it as big as I can. All right, first layer is right here. So if you double click on the name, you can rename it. So since we're doing a solar system, let's put the stars in the background. Okay, add another layer. The next one's going to be the sun. And then add another layer. That's going to be what? Mercury. Uh, and then you want to add a guide layer. Okay because you're going to guide Mercury, okay? you got to guide it and let it know where it's going to go. Remember, I'm going to grade you guys for naming the layers to keep you guys uh, to know pretty much uh, where the guides are, okay? Or rather, where the layers are, where, it, where you're putting your individual symbols, okay? So now I went ahead and grabbed this, and I stretched it out so I could see the name. There we go. Now, each one of these are frames, okay? Each one of them, okay? It's like a flip book. Each one of these is like a page in a flip book, okay? We're going to start off with one frame here. Right, let's go to stars. Now it's like I told you guys, you're going to go over here to Google and you're going to find stars. Okay? And again, find one that isn't uh, too big and that has just a bunch of dots on it. Okay? 960 by 500. Uh, that's okay. So right hand click. Again, it's control click for you guys. Okay? Save your image as. Now be sure to create a folder for yourselves. Okay? Inside animation 8 or 7, you guys create a folder for yourselves, all right? I think I have one on the desktop already, so I'm going to go to desktop. Let me see. Go to folders. Let me see. Where are we at? Uh, mm, I should have it in, like, animate somewhere. Let's see if we got a solar system folder. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so there we go. I've already got stars and a sun and Mercury all on there, so I'm not going to save this. I'm going to cancel out, okay? But anyway, you find the rest of it just by typing in Mercury and so on, okay? You find them, you go ahead and put them in, and find the smallest one that you can find, because remember, the planet is small, okay? So anyway, let's go ahead and go to, uh, where are we at? Animate. There we go. All right. So now to import, go to File, Import, the library, okay? So you want to import, uh, now I'm going to import as many items as I have, so I'm going to import them all, okay? Because I've got different items in here, they all pertain to the solar system, so I'm going to hit Open. Okay, now they're all going to come into my library, all right? So now remember, I'm going to grade you guys for having your library organized, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a folder. So if you guys if you guys come right here to the bottom of this, okay, that's a new symbol. If you add symbols, okay, nope, you want a folder, so click on it, all right? So there it is right there, and I'm going to call it planets, okay? There we go, planets. I'm going to click on it. There's Mercury. I'm going to hold my shift key. Mercury, Mercury. Okay, I'm going to click, hold, and drag into the planets. The stars I'll leave alone. The sun, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to leave it on its own. Okay, there it is right there. Uh, and what I did was I got an animated sun. So you know what? I'm going to show you that. If I click here, all of these are all frames within my animated sun. Okay, so if I go to my GIF movie right here, and I double click, there's the sun, okay? So if you scroll through it, you can see it rotate, okay? So now, I don't want this to show, and I don't want the black background to show, all right? So it's already a movie clip, so therefore I can break it apart. So I'm going to grab my selection tool, okay? I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to go with modify, break apart. There we go. I'm going to click away from it, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my not the lasso i'm gonna click and hold i'm gonna go to the magic wand and i'm gonna click right out here so i'm selecting all the black around it or as much of the black as i can get okay see there's no more black 
Now I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to get rid of this right here. Okay, there it is. Ah, there we go. We got to clean it up. Okay, in the first frame, got to clean it up. See that? So let's go ahead and grab selection tool. Click hold and drag. Get rid of that. Grab your magic wand. Get a little closer. Okay, delete. All right, all of this here. Go ahead and grab your eraser. Let's do it with the eraser. Okay, and here's the size right here. So let's go ahead and just delete all of this right here. Little by little. Let's not get too close to the sun. Okay, we only want the black on. Okay. So I'm gonna delete all of this. Okay. Keep going. All right. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna delete this here. Okay. Because we don't want this black showing up. Okay. There we go. There's a little bit, not a big deal. Okay. But you don't want a whole lot. There we go. All right. So now let's go to the second frame. Same thing. Okay. So we've got to fix the second frame. Okay. Grab this, okay, highlight, oops, sorry, highlight, delete, highlight, delete, highlight, delete, okay, grab your magic wand, come in here, delete, okay, I'm going to leave those there, those are okay, come on over here, same thing. come over here to Mercury JPEG but first what we're gonna do is down at the bottom okay let me show you we're gonna create a new symbol so click on it alrighty come on over here of course you can press F8 and get a new one also okay so I'm gonna go ahead and call this Mercury and it's a graphic so I'm gonna put GRPH okay graphic hit OK okay there's the Mercury JPEG right there so click hold and drag it right in the middle okay there it is so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and break this apart, all right? So go, and again, we're in the Mercury graphic as opposed to the scene. Modify, break apart. Click away from it. Come over here to where it's got the lasso tool. You got to go to the magic wand, and you want to click on the black background. There we go. Hit delete. It's gone. Now grab your selection tool. Highlight, okay, by clicking, holding, and dragging, and delete the line there. Come to the bottom, get as close as you can. There we go. Delete. And there you go. Now, again, you want to go over to your scene here, okay? And it takes you back to where you were. All right. So we've got Mercury right here. What we're going to do is so we're going to go ahead and grab it. All right. So here's a JPEG. We're going to put it with the planets. And what we want is the graphic. There it is. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag onto the stage. Kind of big. I already know that I want to have it as small as possible, so let's see if it'll go to three. Enter. There it is, small. All right, now I'm going to go to a Mercury Guide, and I'm going to go ahead and select my Oval Tool, okay? All right, so I want to grab, go ahead and grab, uh, let me see, what is Mercury Guide? Grab my Oval Tool. I'm going to hold my Shift key, click, hold, and drag. Oop, got a planet there. We don't want that, so let's go ahead and delete that. Oop. Go there, there. Okay, what we're going to do is just delete it right over here. All right. Delete. All right, so what we want is no fill. So there we go. Now, go to your oval. Click, hold, and drag. Okay, make it round. There we go. Now we want to select it, and we want to align it. Center and center. Okay, there we go. Now we want to take the eraser and erase right in here. Okay, there we go. So we can set our planet right in there. Okay. Grab your selection tool. Come on over here. All right, so you've got it there, so come all the way to the end. Go to F6 to duplicate. Now, you can go ahead and control click, okay? So you can set it as a guide or go to Modify, Timeline, Layer Properties, and you want to set it as a guide. Hit OK. Now, let's scroll down here so you guys can see this. All right, so right now, it's a guide layer, but it doesn't know that it's guiding Mercury. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Mercury, Push it up and over. Now it knows it's guiding it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the first frame. And again, we're going to control click. And we're going to insert a classic tween. Okay. Now there's also another way to do it. Go ahead. Insert classic tween. There we go. Go to the end. 
get F6. Now, you'll notice what it did. It attached itself to the beginning. Okay? So at the beginning, it's there. But it's also at the end. Click, hold, and drag it away, and it attaches itself to the end. There you go. you got to drag it up a little bit. All right, so let's see what it looks like. Command Enter. All right, let's maximize it here. There you go. You got it going around. So it's looking pretty good. A little bit of the black from the planet, but that's okay. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to show you guys how to do it a little bit better. Okay, so there we go.